A mini credit marshal for putting the basketball program on the map. Our sports director Chris Arnold joins us now with a look back at his decorated career. Chris. Well, you know, Emily, in 13 seasons, Greg Marshall racked up the most wins in program history with 331 with plenty of highs along the way. It all started here. Cleaning out the office on Sunday, nine years of coach clutter and um, basically just recruiting nonstop, hiring a staff. This was newly hired Greg Marshall two days after taking the job to be Wichita's next head basketball coach in April of 2007. Flash forward nearly seven months, the Shockers' new leader would notch his first win, a 61 to 56 W over Arkansas Pine Bluff in front of the WSU faithful. This is comparable and probably a little better because of the sheer size and the, the, the noise level of the building and with the oohs and ahs you hear in the crowd, they just understand the game so much and that's, that's such a, a privilege to coach in an environment like that where it's a basketball savvy crowd and, um, you know, and they love their shockers. There would be many more highs for Marshall along the way. NIT championship inside the Mecca Madison Square Garden in 2011. Well, coach, he wanted to be in the NIT. A final four run in 2013. It's like being a rock star. I mean, look at this. I mean, it, it walk off the court and the fans are going crazy. It's just tremendous. Even an undefeated regular season, 34 wins, no losses during the 2013-2014 season. Marshall's teams would live up to that play angry mantra along the way. Playing that high energy, high octane style of play that would electrify fans inside of Charles Koch Arena. I think people are pumped. I've seen so many shares on Facebook, so much social media about it. I think people are super excited. I sat on a waiting list for several years to get season tickets, and now I think getting tickets will be much more difficult. The likes of Clee Anthony Early, Ron Baker, Fred Van Vliet, and Landry Shamit would all see their dreams of playing basketball on the brightest stage come true. Many others under Marshall's tutelage would find success overseas. It was here last March that the last of Marshall's 331 wins over a 13 year period would come, where it all started inside the roundhouse on senior night against Tulsa. And even when he won, Marshall always found ways to critique himself. And again, I've got to do a better job. And I hope I get this opportunity the rest of my career. Coach better up 30 at half. Okay, thank you. You know, it's also worth noting that Marshall managed to take the Shockers to seven straight NCAA tourney appearances from 2012 through 2018. Chris Arnold, KSN Sports.